All right, so the purpose of this video is to help anybody out there who is having trouble uninstalling tablet drivers from their computer. So that'd be like your drawing art tablet drivers. What, no matter whatever like brand of tablet you have, whether that's Wacom or Huion or whatever. I literally just went through this whole problem. It took me literally like a week to solve. I really struggled through this. So I'm hoping this will help somebody. My issue specifically was on PC, struggling with a Gaumon tablet and uh, I just needed to uninstall it to get my other tablet back on. And so what had happened was I had uninstalled my old, you know, other tablet that I had, installed the Gaumon tablet, that was working fine, great. And then I needed to uninstall that one and it wouldn't let me. It just kept showing me error, like it won't uninstall. So to get started, the normal approach would be to just look up how to uninstall your tablet drivers. You may need to actually Google how to uninstall your specific tablet drivers. But in this case, I can even just put Gaumon and the uninstall Gaumon um, comes up here. Like this comes up here. So I'm going to just click it and then it just says, are you sure you want to uninstall? Yes. So I'm just going to click on that. It says successfully uninstalled. In theory, we've uninstalled the drivers, but where we can see this is actually an issue is if I go to my other drivers, like the ones that I wanna put back on the computer and I do the setup, I run into this issue of this error saying basically that there are still tablet drivers on the computer that need to be uninstalled before I can install, before I can install the new drivers. Now I'm gonna put back on the Gaumon tablet. I'm just gonna walk you through my process. It was the Gaumon tablet drivers that would not uninstall. So I'm just gonna install them and show you how I ultimately did uninstall them. Now, some of the things that were suggested to me to uninstall drivers that would not uninstall were to do things like um, restart the computer between uninstalls, uh, search for related words to tablet and the tablet brand. And so there were like, Gaumon files that I was able to like delete and stuff and that was fine um, But you do need to take caution if you're suddenly deleting files from your computer and we're gonna touch on that a bit more but ultimately the answer to the problem is this and first of all it comes from an understanding of why it is that your computer only allows one set of you know these tablet drivers at a time for, that's something worth noting if you didn't know that but yes you can only have one set of art you know drawing tablet drivers on your computer at a time so the name of this tablet driver is WinTab 32.dll. So that is the file that needs to be removed from the computer. So ultimately I was able to search it. So let's even do that now. Um, mine would be located on the C drive, which is nearly full. So WinTab, and I probably searched it recently. Here it is <laughs> WinTab 32.dll. Now mine is on the C drive. And if you don't find it, it's possible you have it on a different drive, but ultimately our mission here is to hunt it down and delete it. Now we don't just want to randomly start deleting any files from our computer. So if you're wondering, is it safe to delete the WinTab 32.dll file? It is. If you just even Google, what is the WinTab 32.dll file? You just kind of, you know, read about it. And it says things like belongs to Wacom, which Wacom is like, you know, drawing tablets and stuff. So it is fine. So once I found the WinTab 32.dll file, I went and found its file location. You don't have to do this. I just kind of wanted to know where it was located and it was located in the system WoW 64 file, but um, that may vary for you, but it's probably located there. So anyways, once you find it and you try and click delete, um, I faced this issue where it wouldn't allow me to. It said the action can't be completed because the file is open in Logitech webcam software. So it really threw me off at first. Like it really threw me off big time because I thought, oh, it's a Logitech file. Like what? I guess I don't want to delete it. But then I actually took a closer look at the, um, the message there and it, and it says company Gaumon technology. And I was like, oh, so like it literally is this you know, driver for this tablet. So what that told me is for some reason, Logitech was blocking it and I can't tell you why. I don't know. It was really, really bizarre. So before I figured that out though, um, I was trying to get the computer to give me permission to delete it. So something you could also try, which I was trying to do, right click it, properties, click on security because you just want to let your computer um, delete it. Security and then you click 
on edit and then you click full control and then from there you just click apply so this gives you the permission to delete it so click apply click yes click ok and then you should can try deleting it after that but where the issue lied with this whole thing is that when it said Logitech was blocking the um, driver from being deleted, here's what you actually need to do. It's kind of crazy. Um, we want to go to our task manager and then in our task manager, you're going to have like all these processes and your background processes. So I found I had to actually go down to where it was talking about this Logitech and click on it and delete it. And then what was funny was when I tried to delete the WinTab file again, it said that um, webcam, it was a file called webcam, something was blocking it, not file process. So I had to go find it in here and I found the exact name, deleted it. And then the weirdest one, it was like origin is blocking and origin is a game launcher. So then I went and removed origin. And after that, it was good. It let me delete the file and then I could go and reinstall the old tablet drivers. It let me delete it after that. So anyway, that was my experience. I hope that helps you delete the WinTab DLL32 file or at least get the drivers off your computer because ultimately that's the mission. That file will stop new tablets from going on your computer. It's dumb. I don't know why. I just don't know why. Just why? Why can we only have one set of tablet drivers on our computer? Yeah. Well, if this helped you, like and subscribe and have a wonderful day with, you know, hopefully less tablet driver issues than I had this last week. Okay. Bye guys.